Hello, welcome to the Investopedia tutorial. My name is Billy Hart with investment.com and today I'm going to be talking about in Investopedia. Investopedia is by the company Forbes and uh, they have a lot of information on their site and what we're going to be talking about tonight is the simulator.investopedia.com and it has a lot of helpful tools just to help beginners especially um, learn how to invest without actually having to use their own money. You can use the game's money to do that. So we, we're going to start at the home site of the simulator. And we'll see that I've already made myself a login using investment. I have three messages which I have not checked, but this is where you can see that you are signed in as yourself. I won't go through the sign-in process right now, but this just kind of gives you an over overview. It allows you to set up a profile, which I've added my nice picture there, and tells me when we started, what kind of experience I have, and what you can, you can put different information in there. Anyway, when you start the game, it starts out with putting you in the kind of the default game, which is Investopedia Game 2009 No End. I've added this stock only game because that's the one I kind of prefer to do, working only with stocks and not worrying about options and short selling, that kind of thing. Investopedia Game 2009 allows you to do pretty much everything and has a lot of other options that we won't go into in detail, but I just want to kind of get you going in the tool. So this is your home page, shows you what games you're, you're in and how much, what your portfolio value is in each one. And this little area over here shows you what the S&P 500 did during the day. We can see that the S&P 500 was up 0.67%. Thankfully, it's not down at least. And then we have, it shows what your portfolio is. Since I just started this, this uh, game, my portfolio is zero. So, let's get right into the heart of it. If we go up to the top, we'll see we can go to our portfolio. But I don't want to start there. I'm going to start with the trading. So we're going to go to trade. And as we go down, we'll see that it allows us to, to pick a stock symbol to trade. And it shows us which game we're in. We're in the no end. Right, and we're doing stock trades at the moment. So we're going to look for a stock symbol. Let's look for Procter and Gamble. PG, Procter and Gamble. So if we choose that, we can see over here that it'll tell us that Procter and Gamble today was down 0.39 cents, and that the last price was 59.55. So let's say we want to get $10,000 worth of Procter and Gamble. At that price, we will have to buy. 168 shares of Procter & Gamble. We're going to go ahead and go with the market value and we're going to preview our order. Next it will bring back our preview. So it will show us that we're buying Procter & Gamble at 59.55. We're going to buy 168 shares. It's going to charge us a 19.99 commission for this order, which is part of the rules of this game. All right, so our estimated total will be $10,024.39. So then we're going to submit our order, and it will come back to the trade confirmation page. And then it will give you some of you know, the biggest losers during the day and stuff. So that's basically all it takes to do a trade. So again, we went to the trade, and we did uh, our trade. If we go look at our portfolio, this will show that we have a few more. Today I went ahead and entered a few more. I did one for Ford one for Google, and now we have our one for Procter & Gamble. So when you see the quantities that we're going to do, and it says buy at market open. All right, that just says it's going to buy the next time the market opens. And we can see right up here that the market is currently closed because it is almost 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And the market is open during um, regular business hours, a little bit later. All right, and so it's going to buy those for us tomorrow, and we'll come back and take a look at those tomorrow. So thanks for visiting, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And just to get you started with Investopedia Simulator, please visit investment.com, and have a good day.